everybody. I'm Sean. I'm Steph. And we're about to get real about cruise line loyalty programs. Are they good? Are they bad? Uh, Should you stay with one cruise line forever? 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 What? We're going to give you five pros and five cons about cruise line loyalty programs, and then we're going to tell you what we think about the subject. That's right. Now, before we start, if you are new to our channel, we would love it if you would click that subscribe button right down there. Click that. That way you don't miss any more of our cruise tips, our cruise travel vlogs, any of our live shows, or anything else fun that we do. So much coming up. And we definitely want you to be part of it. For real. Okay, back to our pros and cons of loyalty programs. First... Let's break down what loyalty programs are. Cruise lines have these fun programs in place that reward you based on how many cruises you take with that company. Every cruise line has a bit of a different program, but basically you get points on things like days sailed, cabin type for your sailing, and so on and so on. If you've ever been to a casino, it's the same concept. Mm -hmm. The more you play, the more the casino will offer you for free. The same goes for cruise ships. The more you sail, the more things you earn in your loyalty program. What, what? All right, let's start with the pros. And the number one thing on our pros list is you get stuff. Who doesn't like free right? stuff? You get free stuff. I mean, stuff this is, is cool. why you want loyalty points, right? Mm -hmm. sure. So by cruising more and more, the cruise line gives you little thank yous for cruising. So stuff like free meals, mm -hmm. free laundry, discounts on shore excursions, and even a free cruise. Hey, that's don't forget about champers. Pretty, and you get free champagne. I mean, I mean that's champers. really, really cool. All right, number two, signing up is free. It doesn't cost you anything. That would be counterproductive to the whole idea. Right. So the second you sign up, you start earning points and... A lot of these programs sign you up automatically when you with your first sailing. So your first sailing starts you on your loyalty program ascension. That's right. You don't really have to do anything. No, it doesn't. It doesn't take anything. You just literally sail. just sign up. Yeah. And in some cases, it, like I said, it's already accruing. That's right. All right. Number three would be status match, which means you get stuff even faster. Oh okay? yeah. Okay. So there are cruise lines that will match within their their parent companies. For example, Celebrity and Royal Caribbean will match each other. This gives you more cruise ships to choose from if you want to remain loyal to one brand. There are also other cruise lines that will match your status of another cruise line to gain your business. For example, MSC will match the highest level from any cruise line. That's right. It's very cool. So status match is a big one. Yeah. All right. Number four is exclusivity. You get stuff that only applies to you and to your loyalty group. This means private meet and greets with the captain, priority boarding, private parties, all kinds of private stuff that isn't available to everyone. This is, um, we're talking serious VIP here. That's right. Number five, the very last thing we have to say for our pros is you get a sense of yeah, pride for sure. your cruise line. Mm -hmm. So your status on cruise ships is a big deal. It's mm -hmm. a really big deal. You get pins. Like Sean said, you get parties. Mm -hmm. It's kind of cool to be loyal to one company for so long. It shows dedication to the company and shows that you like what they're doing and how they do it. It's for sure. Cool. All right. So with five pros comes five, five cons. cons. Yeah. <laughs> let's let's talk about the five cons. What's number one? Uh, number one, you feel like you're stuck in a cruise line just for the loyalty status. We've had many friends say, no, I'm not going to try out that cruise because I don't get the points. OK, I get it. The loyalty points are great, but you may be missing out on a great ship or a great itinerary or missing out on a trip with your family for crying out loud. <laughs> yes, there are some things that you might be missing out, but you do. It makes you feel like you need to stick with that brand and mm -hmm. stay with it. Yep. All right. Number two is it usually takes a long time to acute to get anything really really significant. Yes, for sure. Um, so for example, there was a cruise line out there that it will take 29, 29, 29. seven day sailings yep. to get the highest loyal, loyalty perks offered. That is a That's lot a of sailings. That's a lot of sailings. So you may actually not get the perks that you want for a very, very long time. It does take a long time. That, and we can be honest, maybe the rewards aren't all that of an interest to you. Some of them might be, some of them might not be, but all of them, hmm, a free bottle of champagne might not be uh, you know, interesting to you because you don't drink, but come on, champers, you know. <laughs> uh, you like to stay on the ship, so the shore excursion discounts don't really apply to you. Um, you get you know, you know, get what we're saying. Before you, before you say, I must stay with this cruise line forever because of the points, check out every single perk and the kind of perks they offer in, uh, on each ship that you're sailing to make sure that it even applies to what you like to do. That's right. On the fourth con for loyalty programs, they, they're subject to change at any Ooh, time. Yeah. Norwegian, for example, just recently added a new tier to their Latitudes program. Now, the change for Norwegian wasn't a negative thing. Nope. They just shifted some points around and added. they actually added perks to their uh, loyal Latitudes members. Mm -hmm. But still, things did change, and there were people that were upset because they were really close to that that level of, of going up, yeah, now and they're then not. they're not because they changed it. So that is subject to change. So if you have your heart set on being a certain level, that could change at any time, and uh, sometimes that's just disappointing for people. I think the fifth con, and, and this applies to us because we've got yes. we've got some decent status at some lines and we get treated quite well. So the cruise lines treat you so well, you go home and, you're, and you expect that service everywhere else you go in life. You know, like, yo, Publix, why do I have to wait in the line with everybody else? Is there not a VIP here? I'm platinum. Yeah, Publix, I'm platinum come Publix, come on. You know, <laughs> I whatever. need something. Where's is my there, free champagne? Is there like a speedy... <laughs> 
on a car wash or something. I don't know, man. You know, come on. I, you know, maybe some turn down service in my home. I don't know. There should be something. There should be something. Like you just don't. You feel like you have all of this amazing treatment on cruise ships, and you come over back to real life. You're like, hmm. huh? Hmm. I have platinum. So those are our cruise line loyalty programs, pros and cons. For us, our current highest loyalty status with Norwegian Cruise Line, and currently we are platinum with Norwegian. Mm -hmm. yep. uh, for us, loyalty programs are wonderful, and we love earning new levels and getting new stuff. I mean, who doesn't like to get gifts? They are the best. What? And coupon dinners for the win. What, what? Right? I mean, come on. But our mission is to sail on every ocean, every river, and every ship. Yep. We would never stop traveling based on a loyalty program. Right. I mean, I love my free dinner on Norwegian Cruise Line, but that will not hold us back from exploring everything else that cruising has to offer. That's right. And we love you, Norwegian. We it's do. all good. We love everybody. <laughs> so what are your thoughts on cruise line loyalty programs? I know everybody has one, so why don't you go ahead and share it in the, in the comments below. And while you're down there, go ahead what? and click that thumbs up button right down there. <laughs> Give us a like right down there. And if you are new to our channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, just mm -hmm. like I had mentioned at the beginning, so you don't miss any of our cruise vlogs, cruise tips, travel, all that stuff that we have we going have so on. so much stuff so coming So much stuff going on. What? And as always, we are Sean and Steph. Thank you for watching our five pros and five cons on cruise ship loyalty status. What? Bye. Bye.